In one of my recent videos, I talked about how the Elgato Stream Deck has very limited options for YouTube. One of the most important features that the Stream Deck is lacking for YouTube is the ability to make clips. YouTube has clipping functionality and they even give you a shortcut to it in the live dashboard when you're live on YouTube, but there isn't currently a solution that's integrated into the Stream Deck. And as someone with a dual PC setup, I can't really alt tab out and go to my other computer just to click that shortcut button that's on the live dashboard. It's a lot easier to just have it integrated directly on the Stream Deck. So let's talk about how I set up my Stream Deck to record clips when I'm live on YouTube. And before we dive straight into it, you might notice that this video looks a little different in terms of editing, and that's because I just picked up a Mac Mini, I'm using Final Cut Pro now to edit, so I hope you enjoy it, let me know in the comments. Alright, so making clips on your stream deck while you're live on YouTube. First up, you're going to need OBS. Now it can be your standard OBS Studio, it can be OBS Live from Stream Elements, or it can be Streamlabs OBS, but eh, don't use that last one. Now it can be Mac or PC, just make sure you have a version of OBS that is running. And yes, that does mean that this will not work for anyone streaming directly from console. And that's mainly because the Stream Deck doesn't support consoles, it only supports uh, PC or Mac. All right, so we're gonna be setting up something in OBS called the Replay Buffer. Essentially what this does, it allows you to record the last X amount of seconds for your stream and it will take that clip recording and place it in a folder on your computer. So you're essentially saving a local clip to your computer rather than something like Twitch clips where it's saving in the cloud on Twitch's servers. So for my stream, for example, I have it set to save the last 60 seconds and then it saves that file in my recordings folder on my computer. So let's set it up. First, go into OBS and click on settings, then go to the output section and click on the replay buffer tab and then just click Enable Replay Buffer. Now here is where you can set the specific amount of seconds you want it to record. Now mind you, the more seconds that you put in, the more memory will be used on your computer. So this is something that you can play around with. For me, 60 seconds was perfect, but it will depend on your computer specs. OBS even says that you can have up to five minutes for most setups, so you can test that out if you'd like to. So you've now enabled the replay buffer and you'll notice that there is a new button in your OBS controls that says start replay buffer. Now when you click this, OBS will start the recording but it won't save anything to your disk until you press the save replay buffer button that appears next to it. Now to make this easier so you don't need to click start replay buffer every time you start streaming, what you can do is hop into the general settings of OBS and you'll see there's an option that says automatically start the replay buffer when streaming. Now this will make it so you don't have to click that button every single time you go live. Also, I just wanna say, if this video is helping you out and you're enjoying it, be sure to hit the like button. It really does help support the channel and it also helps support the algorithm overall. Um, and if you have any questions about this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below or you can pop into my Discord. That is linked in the description as well. I've actually been giving out free channel reviews over there, so feel free to take advantage of that. And I'm also live on this channel every Tuesday and Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you wanna pop in and ask questions live, feel free to do so. All right, now it's time to connect the Stream Deck to the Replay Buffer. In your OBS settings, go to the Hotkey section and scroll down and you'll find a Hotkey field for Save Replay. Now make this Hotkey anything that you'd like. I have mine set to be Control and F12 uh, and that's just because I'm never gonna really hit that on accident on my keyboard. And now in your Stream Deck software, search for hotkey in your list of plugins, and it should be under the system category, and it comes default with your Stream Deck. Now all you gotta do is set that same hotkey to the one that you set up in OBS, and there you go. Now you can capture clips while you're live on YouTube. But you might be thinking, where are these recordings saved, and how do I actually get them to be a YouTube short on my channel? First off, the recordings will save in the same folder that your normal OBS recording saved to. So go to your OBS settings, go to the output section, and in the recording tab, you can set a recording path to any folder on your computer. And also when you save a replay, the file name will start with replay, so you won't get that confused with any of your other recordings. Now, since this method isn't built directly into YouTube and it's sort of a workaround, there is a small extra step that you'll have to take, turning that clip into something that's in the YouTube Shorts or TikTok or Instagram Reels format. 
It's actually pretty easy to turn a clip into a sort of YouTube shorts format. All you have to do is use streamladder.com. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but I have another video that goes in depth on how to use Streamladder, but it's super easy. You have unlimited uses with their free tier, so you don't have to worry about paying at any point. There's no watermark or anything like that. It's a really great website for turning normal clips into that YouTube shorts sort of format. So feel free to go check that out. I'll link it in the description as well as my video on it that kind of goes a little bit more in depth in what Streamladder can do. So it's obvious that Elgato needs a direct solution for YouTube in the Stream Deck. Uh, and this is obviously kind of more of a workaround, um, but it's been really working fine for me. So ideally, this is what I would love to see from Elgato and also from YouTube. I want a system where I can hit a button on my Stream Deck, it captures the clip, and then it adds those clips, any clip that you have during your stream, to a queue in your content dashboard that you can then review after your stream and decide which clips you wanna publish and which ones you don't wanna publish. There should also be an option, which I believe YouTube has mentioned, to just click on a clip that you have for your channel and it will automatically convert it into the shorts format where you can add text and sounds and things like that. Essentially, I would love if YouTube took this process of trying to edit and use all these different websites, just contain that all within YouTube so that it's the simplest, smoothest process it can be. I actually talk about this in one of my recent videos where I talk about the top five features that I would love to see from YouTube this year. So feel free to check that out. It's linked in the description down below. But what do you wanna see from YouTube? I would love to hear about it. Join the Discord down below and we can discuss or pop into my live stream every Tuesday and Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. I would really love to, to discuss the future of YouTube. And I think there's so much potential with it that uh, YouTube just needs to make a few small moves here and there and they can really dominate the space. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this content and you want to subscribe and support the channel, feel free to do so. You'll be getting more content like this. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.